everybody. Uh, I just got this in the mail and it came from China and amazingly it was in just nine days. I think I sent it out on uh, 3.23.13 and it came on 4.1.13 so that's about nine days I guess. But what I ordered here has been holding off on this for a long time but I decided I was going to try some of these keychain cameras. They're 808 number 16s and I got two in here hopefully. I haven't opened it yet. This hasn't been opened so I haven't looked but there's supposed to be one 16 with an A lens which is the narrow lens and then there's one there with a D lens and that's the wide angle. I think it's 120 degrees and then I also ordered a B lens that I might swap out for the A just to see what it looked like. But uh, that's what it is, so let's go open it and see what's in here. I'm just going to go ahead and open it using scissors. I don't feel like tearing the label. Okay, so where's the B lens? Oh, wait a minute, is this it? Let's see. Is this just packing material or is there something actually? Oh, that's a B lens right there. And, and it should be red. I think the B lens have a red color to them. I think it's important to get the uh, batteries charged right away. You don't want to leave them sitting around and have the battery be dead before we can get a chance to use it. I assume this is the A one, by the way, because uh, it looks like it has the A lens. I'm just assuming. I think when we see the D lens, it'll be much larger. It's the wide angle one. Oh, yeah. You can see the difference there. There's the D version lens, and it's wide. I think it's 120 degrees. There, I take the cap off. You can see it better. So it has a nice little lens cover. That's nice. They look very similar, although I assume this case is different because it has to have a bigger hole for that D lens. And this is the A lens, which is blue. And then the B lens, which is in this package, is red. So A lens is the narrowest, and then B is a little wide, a little wider and then you got the 120 degree D lens so there they are and like we have the USB cables that we can charge them up with or connect the cameras to the computer like a hard drive and there's a couple little keychain things in here since they are keychain cameras and then we have some nifty little cables and this looks like for video so you could stream video out the side of it I've heard it's 640 by 480 that comes out the side and you can use that for FPV or just run it to an external screen but I think one is ground and voltage that's this plug and then this other plug is video I guess there's no audio out I guess it looks like it's just video out and then you have something for voltage in case you wanted to power the camera off an external power source. Now my video is going to this kind of RCA jack that might be handy to hook up to a TV or something. And this plug here, I could hook that to a voltage source, 5 volts probably, to run the camera. But anyway, so that cord there could be used just to watch it on an external monitor or maybe use it for FPV. Okay, it's recording right now. And then we got the uh, cable. We got this cable here. Looking at its own cable. I'm looking at its own cable right there. And it's uh, hooked into the camera at the other end in the USB port. And then we got the whole thing running off a LiPo battery here. And so there it is, and we got video out. Of course, we had to go into settings, use the uh, GUI that's provided from RC Groups, download the GUI, and change the settings in the camera so that uh, it will output the AV signal. 
hmm. out the side through the USB port. Normally it doesn't do that, so it's working pretty good. Now I know the video looks kind of dark, but I kind of want it that way because I'm going to plug these into the USB port with their provided USB cables, and I want you to be able to see the lights, so that's why it's dark. So I'm plugging one in. Okay, and a green light just came on down here. I'm going to plug the other one in. And let's wait for that. And there's the green light for that one. Okay, the manual I got from the eBay seller says that these green lights stay on until the camera is fully charged. And then they're supposed to go off. And it can take up to uh, two and a half hours according to the manual. Okay, this one here charged in about an, an hour and this one with the wide angle lens charged in about an hour and a half. So that's well under the two and a half hour possible charge time that was in the manual. So the batteries in these are probably in pretty good shape. Okay, before we can take the video samples we need to get these memory cards in. Now I've got a couple of 16 gig micro SD cards here that I got locally. These cameras did not come with any cards but you can order them with it if you want to. I just got some locally. Now according to the manual the card has to actually go in upside down like this with these buttons facing up and the card upside down you slide it into this slot press it in till it locks like that so I'm just going to do both of them like that okay to turn these on we just go ahead and hold down the power button which is this lower button the LEDs should turn red and then when they turn green you can let go now they're on now to take the movie you hold the shutter button down till you see three blinks and then you let go like this. Now it's recording. The light's out, but it's recording. Now to stop the recording, you just press the button, hold down the button again. You'll see a couple of blinks. And now it stopped recording. Now to turn it back off, you hold down the power button till the lights go off. And the lights are off. Okay, let's go take some video. Okay, now recording. Just looking around outside now. Okay, now recording. Just looking around outside now. To adventure hobbies. Okay, here we are at our local hobby shop, Adventure Hobbies, and it has everything for your RC needs and many toys and gifts as well. Now what I'm doing here is making a comparison between the D lens and the A lens on the 808 number 16. The D lens has a lot of wide angle, the A lens is narrow but has more definition. So I think both have their purposes. If you're in a car or maybe taking some aerial video, I think the D-Lens is going to be the one for you. But if you're going to want more detail and less distortion, I think the A-Lens is going to do a better job. 
It's just a matter of preference. And I think you can see from both of these views that both are clear. They both have 720p resolution. They're virtually the same camera. They're the 808 number 16 camera. Just have different lenses on them. Okay, for the next video clips, we're going to take the cameras outside on an RC glider and get a little aerial video. And I'll continue the D to A swap back and forth so you can see the differences in the camera lenses. that crash we had before might have knocked it loose. Probably knocked it loose. Yeah. You should have put that stabilizer on there, shouldn't have we? Yeah, the locks are still on there. Yeah, they're still on there. So that was a comparison of the two 808 number 16 cameras mounted on the nose of the Bixler and flying around. And the camera with the wide angle lens, lens D is right here. And the camera with the narrow angle lens, lens A is right here. So I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. I know it's not highly technical, but I just got the cameras and was learning about them myself. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to, leave us some comments at the bottom of the video.